this video I'm going to demonstrate how to utilize macros in Word 2013 or Office 365. Macros are a great tool while you are working in a document, particularly when you have to perform various repetitive tasks. So instead of you doing one thing over and over and over again with all the different steps, what you can do is you can record all of those steps in a macro and then you simply execute that macro. So here's how it works. To get to the macros, well, all that we have to do is we go under the View tab in Word and then we go under the Macros option here. Then we click on Record Macro. In this case, I'm going to record bringing up labels, for example, label Avery 5160. So instead of you having to do all of those steps time after time, you simply execute the macro. So we click here on Record Macro and then we'll give it a name. Now it says that assign macro to, you can assign the macro to a specific button which would be an icon here uh, somewhere in the quick access toolbar or somewhere. So you can assign to this macro a button or a keyboard shortcut. So in this case I'm going to choose, I'm going to assign a button and then notice it says new macro macro one you can change the name if you'd like and then I'm going to add this notice it's going to be on the quick access toolbar but I'm going to add this also to the right hand side here so I want to customize my quick access toolbar so I want to click on add and then I'm going to click OK all that is going to do is it put this icon over here now notice that at this point the, next to the mouse there's this little cassette tape that means that every step or every click that I perform from this point on until I stop it all of those steps are going to be recorded so now to insert a label usually you'd go under mailings and then you'll go under labels once you go under labels we need to go here under options and then we'll pick the specific type of label that we want. We said earlier that we wanted Avery 5160. So we go here under Label Vendors and we will want to change this to Avery. So we choose Avery US Letter and then the number here it actually depends on the box of labels that you purchase from the store. So we want here 5160 for example. And there it is. So we click OK and then here we click on new document now notice it brought and it uh, designed this document to be that type of label so this is where we want our macro to stop so at this point all we have to do is we click here under view we go back to macros and we choose stop recording so now the macro has been recorded and uh, all the steps have been recorded. Notice we have an icon here on the very top. So let's assume now another day came by and we want to create labels. So we go here under new, we choose document and all of a sudden we have a need for those labels for Avery 5160 when we don't have to go and search for the label, search for the vendor and all that type of stuff. So all we have to do at this point is we click on this icon here for the macro and notice the label definition has been applied. So it's the same step for anything else that you do in a repetitious way in within Word. All of those steps you can record them exactly the same way. You can use macros to open a file from a specific location or you can um, have it to create labels or put headers, footers or whatever else that you do within Microsoft Word. So hopefully this was helpful and that's how you record a macro in Microsoft Word.